welcome into Carpooling with Ben, ladies and gentlemen. As we approach Memorial Day, one of the greatest events that we can be a part of is uh, on Memorial Day weekend is remembering those we've lost uh, throughout the years uh, in the service of the country. And then also, especially uh, since, you know, since 9-11, and that's where Operation Stand Down Rhode Island comes in with their annual boots on the ground. Uh, it's, it's, it's really something uh, just... It, 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 it is breathtaking. Joining me, I have you, no stranger to you or anybody else out there who's watched this before. Eric Wallen, the executive director of Boots on the Ground. Eric, it's great to see you. Good to see you, Ben. We're uh, we're 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 flying high because that's the Air Force way, right? Absolutely. Uh, I won't say any others just in case Tony DeQuatro is within earshot. I don't want to say any other. <laughs> And he'll, he'll, he'll be landing soon. I'm sure he will. <laughs> he, he will. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, last year, you know, we had to do it a little different. We had a video tribute to specifically those uh, Rhode Islanders who were killed in the line of duty, uh, killed in action uh, is the better term. And we had that uh, circle there, film that over in Jamestown, right at uh, Beaver Tail. It was beautiful. Uh, but this year we're back to Fort Adams. So tell us about it. Yeah. So we're very excited. And, uh, you know, as you just uh, on your intro, um, I'm actually the executive director of Operation Stand Down. Uh, the uh, founder and president of Boots on the Ground is our good friend, Dee DeQuatro, yes. who, uh, who came up with this idea of the uh, Boots on the Ground for Heroes Memorial several years ago. And uh, Operation Stand Down has been able to execute this now. This will be our, our sixth year, actually, of doing Boots. And we're going to be back at Fort Adams in Newport over Memorial Day weekend. So it's the 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Uh, it's a display of over 7,000 boots, 7,010 to be exact, all representing a fallen US service member in the global war on terror. And the event is open to the public for free from eight until 8 p.m. each of those days and on Memorial Day, eight to 6 p.m. We're really excited about being able to do this. Uh, last year, you know, we wanted to make sure that we continued the legacy of doing it every year. It is a living memorial. So sadly, we continue to add every year as we lose more service members in the global war on terror. But we were able to keep that going on uh, through last year. But this will be the full display live in person. Yeah, it's really something to, to take in. And, you know, I can remember in years past, you see people who are young, people who are old, families, uh, people coming on their own. Some people uh, travel from great distances to uh, pay tribute to somebody that they served with or they knew or a family member or a friend of a family member. And you organize it in such a way where you have volunteers there who can help, you know, kind of guide people to go through. But many people just go through on their own and just kind of take it in. And it's, it's really a teaching moment uh, for families. If you have younger kids, like, look, this is this is why we can do what we do here. And this is why we have these beautiful freedoms that we have. And, you know, we can sleep at night, you know, not really worry about what's going to happen, especially now when you start seeing, you know, activity on the rise in, in different parts of the country. We know that here in the United States of America, you know, we're, we're very lucky. And it's thanks in large part to the men and women who are represented by the boots that we're going to see. Yeah, and you know, it's a good point that you bring up. It's uh, one of the thoughts behind this. When Dee called me and pitched this idea back in, I think it was 2015, right after Memorial Day, there were two thoughts behind it. One was that uh, we had a couple of years earlier brought the Vietnam traveling wall to Rhode Island. And for all of us here at Operation Stand Down, we saw just how impactful that was because of the immensity of it. And there, really was nothing in Rhode Island for those who had fallen in the global war on terror that had that immensity to it. And really, you know, even when this was first formulated, this idea, it was already the longest war the United States had ever been engaged in. And so this provides not only a sense of the enormity of the sacrifice that's been made over the course of the last two decades, but the other thing about it is, is that for those who have a personal connection to any one of these over 7,000 service members who have been killed, this is an opportunity to come to one place and to 
see some sort of physical representation of, of, of that sacrifice. And so for those coming, whether they know someone, whether they served with someone, went to boot camp with someone, or just want to pay uh, reverence to someone who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms, they get to go and see uh, a photo of that individual who's depicted on a tag on the boot, along with where their hometown was, what branch of service, uh, where they were when they were killed and how they died. And when you really, you look first for me, and, I, and I've been told the same by others who see it, you look out, you see this sea of sacrifice as it's been described. Um, and as you get really closer, all of a sudden it becomes very personal because there is a person and name attached to each one of those boots and a story. It's really something that's incredible. I imagine, and you know, I, I am not the person, I, I can't speak to this firsthand, but I imagine for some people who go there, even family members, that this perhaps doesn't bring complete healing, but it, it helps towards that healing and it helps towards closure uh, to experience this and to recognize the care and uh, the honor and, and the respect with which this is presented. Uh, I, I mean, it, have you heard, I mean, you must have heard many comments and many reactions over the years. So we've had really the privilege, you know, the boots on the ground gave us an opportunity here at Operation Stand Down for us to become um, really uh, personally familiar with the Gold Star families, those, you know, mothers and fathers or brothers and sisters, and even some of the children uh, who these boots represent, especially the Rhode Island Gold Star families. And as you know, we hear from them, not all of them, but many of them express this sense of the idea that, they're, that, that their loved one, their name continues on, that they're, you know, it's not lost in the annals of history. It, it continuously, it's almost as if that person still exists in some manner or form because that name has not passed into, you know, the, the, just into the wind. And I, I think it is a sense of closure uh, for some and for some who don't really seek closure, it's still a, a sense of remembrance that it that it's not forgotten. I think that's the worst thing we could ever do as a nation is to forget that each one of these individuals uh, on Memorial Day who put on that uniform and made the ultimate sacrifice, uh, their families, their loved ones, their friends continue to carry that suffering forward every single day. Uh, and we need to, it gives us an idea of just how valuable what we have in this nation is to know what has been sacrificed for it. The Boots on the Ground for Heroes Memorial is is obviously one of your biggest, uh, you know, productions, events. I hate to use the word event, but uh, for lack of better term, it's it's one of the bigger things you folks do uh, throughout the year. But your regular mission at Operation Stand Down Rhode Island is working with veterans uh, from all different generations. And it's not a handout, it's a hand up. So for those who may not be familiar with uh, the logo on your shirt there or, or, or the organization, just what's the nutshell, the, the Reader's Digest version, if you will? Yeah, so um, really in a spirit of those who have fallen, it's, we view it as an responsibility to carry forward and take care of their brothers and sisters who have come home, who are suffering from the physical as well as the invisible scars of war. And so at Operation Stand Down, we help in need veterans here in Rhode Island of over 2,500 a year we serve, providing housing, employment and training, legal services, and basic human needs to get them back on the feet so that they can pursue that American dream that they you know, served and, and wore the uniform for. Yeah, it's, it's something really special. And you know, we've seen countless uh, success stories and you know, just really just amazing transformation over the years. Uh, when a, a veteran gets involved with your program, uh, whether it's just something small, uh, maybe they just need a little bit of assistance. Maybe they need a whole retraining and a whole you know, guide to kind of re-entry back into uh, society as we know it. Your folks, your team are just dedicated professionals, uh, prior military or current military in some cases uh, that can help you, you. And you brought it you, you said it perfectly, uh, especially one time with the battlefield of the mind, you know, PTSD is a real thing. And, and, you know, some, some men and women just 
that's the, that's a huge hurdle for them. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, this year, we're going to have a, a new addition to the boots on the ground for heroes Memorial. Uh, we've had in the past a soldier's cross, which is a traditional symbol of a fallen service member. Uh, but we have, we are adding a, we're calling it the invisible scars of war. It'll be uh, a single, quite beautiful uh, object, monument, so to speak, uh, which will be big next to the soldier's cross. But it is intended to recognize that, you know, some of our brothers and sisters, because of what they saw and what they went through on the field of battle, have come home only to lose their own battle to that, to the invisible scars of war through substance abuse, mental health, PTSD. Uh, so we recognize that it's a, it is significant. And although they weren't killed in action, there is definitely, you know, a linkage. Oh, so we want to recognize that. Uh, and, uh, and we will do that this Memorial day at boots on the ground. That's incredible. And I think that's a, that's such a very fitting uh, element to this whole thing. And, and hopefully too, if anything, it will help to open the door for somebody who may have been just, uh, you know, in the beginning stages of that battlefield of the mind and the beginning stages of starting to have those thoughts and starting, you know, there is help out there. Uh, obviously, Operation Stand on Rhode Island can certainly direct people towards it. Uh, but there is help out there uh, for you. You just have to, you know, reach out and and the, the lifelines are there, which is which is so important. So. Uh, I Absolutely. Think I think that's a very good thing. So to recap, it is Memorial Day weekend, May 28th through the 31st. Um, and right now we're still in need of some volunteers, I understand. Absolutely. Folks uh, who would like to volunteer for the setup or to help us take uh, the memorial down, they can visit our website uh, at osdri.org. And uh, we have the boots on, on our events page. We have the boots on the ground website and they can volunteer there. Uh, as well. Hey, if you ever wanted to go down to Newport, now's the time to do it before all the hustle and bustle. So you can get that Newport trip in, go volunteer for a few hours and then, you know, hit up the shops if you want after, or, you know, get some ice cream or something. And then you can check that off your, your summer to-do list. You, 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 you've done a great deed. You've done some great help. And, uh, you know, you get that trip out of the way. I don't necessarily know that that'll pass with my wife, but you know, I can, <laughs> I can certainly try. Well, you got to Get in before the crowds crush, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But, One other yeah. thing we're going to be doing this year, we're going to have a special live presentation on Saturday morning. We're thinking around 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday uh, from Boots on the Ground. It'll be on Facebook. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be uh, it'll be everywhere we need it to be. Uh, and we'll actually hear from some of the supporters. We'll hear from some of the families and some of the staff at Operation Stand Down. Looking forward to, uh, to that experience as well, just to to complete the whole, you know, to, to take the digital we did last year and kind of advance it a little bit. Uh, I think that's an important thing, something we positive we've taken out of this whole season of COVID and, and social distancing and stuff. So, uh, I mean, yeah. who, who'd ever thought it, you know, Tony DeQuattro on the internet. What a beautiful thing. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it may break the internet. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? If, if not Kim Kardashian, Tony DeQuattro is my second choice. Why not? Well, you right? know, Marines like to break things, so, and they're and, good at it. And they're very good at it. Absolutely. So, Eric, it was great chatting with you folks. Go online, share this episode, go follow the Operation Stand Down Rhode Island, not only for this event, but for all the services they do year round, but especially uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, make it a point to, to take a trip down to Newport and go see this, experience it. Uh, it's going to be something truly special. All the information's right online. Eric, it's great to see you, sir, and we will you see too. you at Fort Adams uh, real soon. All right. Sounds great. We'll see you there.